Hey, my name is uh, Jake Friesen. I was asked to uh, bring a testimony a little bit. And I asked uh, the person that asked me to do a testimony, what does the church need to hear? And uh, they said to me, testify on the Holy Spirit and what you experience in your life about him. And so I want to share some experiences and some testimonies of my life with the Holy Spirit. Uh, I grew up and I was born in Mexico and my, I spent my childhood in Mexico and in 2004 we, we moved here and uh, whenever I was told of the Holy Spirit it was always like this question mark, like this mystery. Like what is this? I couldn't understand it. It was like this very questionable thing. I couldn't understand it. It was just like people wouldn't understand or explain it to me and I couldn't understand it and it was just very strange to me and um, the friends and, pe and family that I was with they, they didn't want to talk about it and so I was in this place where I needed to figure out what what is the Holy Spirit and um, I, obviously I was not born again but in 2016 I wanted to have a relationship with the Lord and also a relationship with the Holy Spirit. I started feeling this, this nudging, this uh, calling to come into relationship with God. And I started praying that God would give me revelation on salvation and the Holy Spirit. And through that, God started giving me dreams. And he started sharing about the Holy Spirit to me. And from that, the Holy Spirit revealed salvation to me through a dream. And then miraculously, I could finally understand salvation through the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy, when I was reading scripture, it often said that the Holy Spirit will lead you in all spirit and all truth. And I couldn't understand that. But when I started praying that the Holy Spirit would give me revelation and dreams, I started having miraculous dreams and uh, I was in a place of my life where I was in a, in a relationship for four and a half years and I knew for a fact that that was not God's will for my life. And um, I started praying to the Holy Spirit and I was like, show me. And um, the Holy Spirit revealed to me that I should leave and I did. And all of a sudden, I had an encounter with the Holy Spirit after. That supernaturally changed my ministry and my calling. I was in my bed, and the Lord just supernaturally healed me of all my pain and my trauma and everything like that. And in the place that I had the greatest pain became my greatest private place with the Holy Spirit. And that was my go-to place in my time of suffering, in my time of searching. And from that, from that place, from that bed, that bed became so special to me, so, sentiment, so, so much sentimental value to me. I still have that bed. And out of that, God just supernaturally did something in me. All of a sudden, I just started being alone. I lost friends. I started doing weird, weird things that in the natural realm did not make any sense. But I started searching for the Lord and, and asking more of the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit would start giving me dreams. And I remember, uh, coming to a men's encounter and I got supernaturally touched by God there. And then in, um, fast forward a little bit, and I think it was in October of 20, 2018, I was, or before that already, I was listening to podcasts about uh, the baptism of the Holy Spirit and speaking in tongues. And I just knew for a fact that there was more. When I was reading the book of Acts, I just saw that, these, that the disciples, they started having power and signs and wonders would be following them. And there was just this, this difference before, uh, after the baptism of the Holy Spirit compared to before. And I, I wanted that. I was searching for that. And I was running after it. 
And when I received the baptism of the Holy Spirit and speaking in tongues, it just exploded something on the inside of me. I became a stark, raven, mad fanatic, and I became just different. And people started criticizing me and whatnot, and I just figured, you know what, I don't know what's your problem, but I'm just going to start doing what the Holy Spirit wants me to do. And I just started going on a mission. And um, I didn't do everything right, but you know what, I was learning. And I would start praying in tongues like crazy. I would pray in tongues for hours out of day, and I would start having these miraculous experiences. I would started having these emotional encounters with the Holy Spirit while I was just gone someplace. Where these experiences with the Holy Spirit, they started lasting longer and longer, like for sometimes up to two to three weeks. Where I was just like gone, like I didn't want to do anything else. I didn't want to go to work, I didn't want to go hang out with, with uh, friends or family. And so it put me in a place where I was just alone in my basement where I was living then. And I just started having these emotional encounters with the Holy Spirit. And out of that became this private life with the Holy Spirit. And, to, and some of those things that, that I experienced with the Holy Spirit to this day has carried me into the ministry that he has called me to be in. And so when I look at the book of Acts, uh, some of these things that I have experienced in my life, they have come out of this relationship with the Holy Spirit. And, and, and now I can understand more about this power that comes from the Holy Spirit, that, that the Holy Spirit is not a power, he's a friend. And out of that friendship becomes power and the ability to carry the fruit that he has for us. And um, out of that has become many things, and I believe that the Holy Spirit has something that he has already given each person here. And just like we all want to see a vision, we all want to see a goal, but I believe that the Holy Spirit already has given you that vision, and all we have to do is be obedient to that. And just like for my life, sometimes you want to see everything right now. And uh, I think that has come already in its perfect time and place. The only thing that's in the middle is time. And so I just figured I would share a little bit about my experiences with the Holy Spirit on, on how it just totally revolution my, revolutionized my life in the time that I felt that this was just the weirdest place of my life, me totally me totally being alone. I didn't see friends for a long time. I was just like totally separated. Like I was, I, I virtually disappeared. I went to work, went to the gym, and I just after that I just started reading and praying and just speaking in tongues, praying in my private life. I was like gone someplace. And I can virtually say that that was the greatest time of my life of just being alone with the Holy Spirit and just building this private relationship with the Holy Spirit. Some people said, why are you so much alone? I was not alone. I felt closer than I ever was before. And out of that birthed ministry. And I, I praise God for that. And, and I don't take the credit. The credit goes to the Holy Spirit and to Jesus. Because when, when you read about the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit always reveals Jesus and points to Jesus. And that's who I point to.